so first thing i wore the wig cap on the dummy's head and because the wig cap is not tight on this dummy i had to sew the four edges of the cap to the dumb that way it wouldn't pull out if you're using a tighter a cap definitely you don't need a step next here the most important side is sewing in the lace closure to the cap first thing you need to align the lace closure to the center of the dummy's head and then sew the two edges of the closure to the cap first and now sew the rest of the closure around to the cap here i am actually sewing in the bundle into the cap and i'm using a single hair here i'll sew the single round first and then turn it back and sew it second time round before i now start doubling the hair to sew in at the back of this hair so it's just that simple So this is what the sewing should look like after you finish the first line. Next thing you want to roll back the extension and don't cut it off. The moment you tamper with the threading of the hair, it will make it more prone to shedding. It's going to start you know, shedding from those edges that you have cut off. So just fold it back and then sew round again for second time but give a little bit of spacing and uh, sew it round to the edge of the hair. So sewing it this way first makes the hair look a lot natural when you want to pack the hair up. That way you won't be having those gaps in between uh, where you folded it which could be visible when you want to pack the hair up. It's not nice. So like this you can pack the hair whichever way you like it and it will still look all beautiful. So keep sewing it and don't give too much spacing. In the gapping of the hair should depend on the quantity of the bundles you want to sew in and how full you want it. I got three bundles and basically this is the average you could get and there is no fixed rule to how much you could gap the hair or not. So to make the wig even look more natural, I had to bring out some baby hair and I just bought, brought out some portion of the hair and combed it to the front. It's so easy to do this hair. This uh, closure is very nice and flexible. And then I just used a hot iron to lay them down in front there. It just fell and that is it guys. Nothing more. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up the video and share the video. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.